Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. My low libido wife had an affair. How can she reject me, but not him? Okay, I'm sorry, but there's a lot to this story. So this post is long. I just need to write this all out because it's killing me holding it in. I'm a 34 male. I've been married to my low libido wife, 33 female, for 11 years, together for 17 years. We've dealt with her low libido for 15 years or so, and it's always been an issue in our relationship. Don't get me wrong, when we have sex, it is fantastic. It's just never been very regular. Despite this, we've always been extremely close and enjoyed spending time together. We have a very loving relationship, and I guess that is part of why it hurts so much. For context, my wife was sexually abused as a young teen, and this has impacted her sex drive and most aspects of her life. We've been through months of not having sex, followed by periods of regular sex. In recent years, our sex life actually reached a pretty decent equilibrium. Then COVID hit, my wife's business collapsed, and she had a pretty serious mental health crisis. She turned to social media for support, met another man, and you can probably guess the rest. They met up as friends, and then she cheated on me. I drove her to the train station to go and meet this guy, and I feel like such a chump. She says it was a mistake. They didn't plan it, and didn't have full sex, mutual masturbation instead. In her defense, she told me without prompting. I had no reason to distrust her at the time, but obviously, I'm still devastated. She cut all ties with him. We always agreed that if one of us cheated, it would be over. But unfortunately for me, I love her in our life too much to leave. I also wouldn't want to put our daughter through a painful divorce. The betrayal is so painful, even after nine months. I still can't understand how she could reject me so frequently for years and years, but couldn't reject this guy even once. I feel so weak and unloved. I don't understand why she would throw it all away like that. Anyway, we decided to work on things. Our sex life after the affair was phenomenal. We were having sex at least once a day, trying new things. That period of time saved our marriage in my opinion. But now, we're back to irregular sex. My wife still masturbates, but rarely wants me to get involved. She says it's a utility thing, but why can't she utilize me? As part of fixing our marriage, we also looked at other areas we needed to improve. She said she felt smothered being stuck in the house 24 seven with each other because of the COVID lockdowns. So she started a new job, made new friends, and is now a lot happier. But her happiness seems to be directly related to spending less time with me. She now spends hours online with her new friends and often comes to bed much later than I do. So logistically, it's difficult to line up our schedules for sex. I just don't know what to do. We've always struggled to discuss our sex life without one of us ending up feeling hurt. I want to talk to her, but since the affair, she gaslights these conversations by saying how bad she feels and how she doesn't know how we can stay together if I can't move on. In my mind, this just makes me want to hold everything in so I don't rock the boat. I'm profoundly sad, lonely, and ashamed. I still deeply love my wife, but I can't go on without intimacy. When she rejects me, I experience a mind-boggling mixture of resentment, anger, shame, and entitlement. It's so difficult to feel that way. It lingers for days and taints every aspect of my life. So I'm at the point where I would rather avoid all physical contact with her so I don't have to feel rejection. But this solves nothing, and I cannot control when I feel sexually attracted to my wife, which is basically all the time. Please, any advice or support would be greatly appreciated. I want to be happy again. Let's get some community comments. Single with Pringles starts us off. They continued spending hours online with her friends after her online affair that transitioned into a real life affair is a pretty big red flag for me, as personally it shows she is not making an effort of connecting with you. She is focusing only on what is best for her and not what is best for you as a couple or family, which would be trying to find happiness together. I feel like her current friendships and relationships are currently stand-ins for the affair, instead of actually working on the damage she has caused to your relationship. In all honesty, the absolute minimum I would expect from a cheating partner is that they work to regain your trust and love, but it seems like the opposite here. The OP responds, This kinda hits the nail on the head. She has spent a great amount of time making herself happy since the affair, directly at my expense. But when I try to bring this up, she gaslights me, and she's much more emotionally intelligent than I am, so she just runs rings around me in those sorts of arguments. On the other hand, she has shown true remorse and has entered counseling to try and sort out some of her baggage. Sometimes, I feel like we're good and we can make it through. Other days, I wake up and remember what she did and it's a struggle to even get out of bed. 
Maddie M74 has the next comment. Been through this about four or five years ago. Will totally shake the foundation of your life. But after 23 years of marriage and four kids, it's impossible to just start over without some serious life altering consequences. I took the wrong road and turned to alcohol to numb my pain. Been two and a half years sober, but have paid a price in my marriage. After the last three years being completely celibate, all I can say is focus on you, but more importantly, focus on getting out of yourself. Get your hands on anything that can make you a better person to others. It may be books, hobbies, service work, etc. I jumped into old hobbies and AA meetings and getting deeply connected with my kids. Having a new circle of friends that share a common struggle, AA, has helped immensely. As well, I would recommend The Marriage Builder by Larry Crabb. I read it a few times and always find something new in it. It will change your perspective on marriage. Again, it's not perfection, it's progress. Something's Gotta Give has another comment. You want some advice? Here it is. Grow up hair, man. Your wife violated not only her vows multiple ways, but also a bond in your trust. She trickle truth you about the only mutual masturbation. You honestly believe that? I'd bet my left nut that there was most definitely more that went on than just that. She gave you just enough to make you think it wasn't as bad as you thought. The truth is, you couldn't handle the full-on truth and she knew it. That's why she only gave you part of it. Your wife is the one that is at fault for how your daughter would feel dealing with your divorce. That isn't your cross to bear. She has taken advantage of you. She obviously has issues that have never been addressed. You can't fix her. Only she can. If my wife had cheated and I found out, I would have drove her to a divorce attorney not to get effed by some guy. You need to get out. She is going to continue to run all over you. I too am a DB. And if my wife had slept with another man all the while rejecting me for years, there is no way I could ever be sexually intimate with her again. I'm sure some people would call that petty or vindictive. I call it having some dignity. Alright, let's move on to the next story. Wife emotionally cheated. I have nobody to talk to. I'm obviously beyond hurt. I discovered this morning that my wife, who I've been with for 11 years, married for 8, went to see a mutual friend of ours because she had deep feelings for him and wanted to see if there was too much of a spark to ignore. We have two kids, aged 6 and 3. We had a seemingly decent relationship and pretty open lines of communication. I had a failed small business for the first 5 years of our marriage leading into the birth of our children which caused immeasurable stress on us and I badly neglected her emotional needs and support at home. We went to three therapy sessions that went really well. I quickly exposed some very selfish behavior on my behalf and I immediately went to work correcting them. Although my wife seemed a little happier, we acknowledged that it would take years to repair the damage I'd caused. Fast forward two years and I discovered this morning that she'd been having these intense conversations with an old fling from another country for the last month and worse yet, two weeks ago, she visited a different mutual friend who did some painting in our home three years ago for a few weeks. It was during our incredibly stressful time when she was overwhelmed with the kids and I was practically non-existent trying to save the now failed business. She has apparently been low-key crushing on him for three years and of course now acted on it. To sting a little harder, we have no childcare or respite so to speak in our city to watch our kids for date nights so for the last six years the kids have never spent a night without mom. She desperately needed and deserved a break. So I went with the kids out of town to a relative's place for a week, two weeks ago. This is when it happened. She's been, I hope, honest with me about their interaction, which didn't apparently evolve into anything sexual beyond a long kiss, and although the entire situation is bad, I believe her. Regardless, even if they slept together, it's irrelevant considering her confessing her mixed emotions and attraction to him anyway. She acknowledged emotionally cheating is no better or worse than sexual cheating, and I agree. This woman does not lie. She is not a liar. This is so out of context for her, which is why it blindsided me. She was upset and confused about the interaction with him and booked a therapy appointment to try to come to terms with what was happening and she hoped to keep it from me until she figured out what was happening with herself emotionally. She didn't want to hurt me. She doesn't want to lose me. I truly believe that. She's a wonderful person that I neglected and that stuck with her even after I improved. Now she's incredibly guilty not only because of what happened, but because she's so emotionally divested in me. She wants to love me and be happy, but she can't shake the feelings for the friend or where she is personally in life at the moment. I unfortunately discovered all of this before her therapy session tomorrow. I'm obviously crushed and torn between anger and sadness. I have enough respect for myself to leave her, 
but I love our little family unit so much that I'm also willing to forgive her and rebuild our relationship from the ground up. If she comes out of therapy with a renewed sense of wanting our marriage to work, I'm all in. If she discovers she's in the wrong life and needs out, I guess I have to come to terms with that. I love my kids so freaking much, and I just want them to have a stable home with a typical parental unit. I love seeing them every morning and every bedtime. I'm very, very close with them and spend more than the usual amount of time with them, with my line of work, and being home so much. I know they're going to be alright, regardless, but hey, I just want to believe there's a chance to repair our family. I hope I haven't vilified her. She really is an amazing person who is currently in a state of emotional turmoil and made a big mistake. Cheers, folks, and thanks for listening. Durakug starts off the comments. She didn't make a mistake. She made choices. And since she can't shake her feelings for him, she may continue to make choices to be with him, not you. You discovered this. She didn't tell you. If you hadn't discovered, she would have continued and done more than the kiss, which I don't believe is the only thing that happened. I hope she can turn herself around, but her still professing feelings for him means there is little chance for a successful, long-term reconciliation in my opinion. She will seek him out again. Reasonable Doubt 59 says, Not going to cut your wife any slack here. What she did was wrong and stupid. What she got was a bunch of guilt for her, and a ton of hurt for you. Isn't that such a fine gift? The word gift in German means poison. This guilt she has is what often produces the abusive red flags cheaters often manifest. You see vilifying and blaming the spouse is often how a wayward spouse relieves the guilt of their actions. This also pushes them deeper into the affair, as it becomes in their mind now justified. Don't fall into this trap if you want to save your relationship. Yes, admit your shortcomings, but don't allow her to take it as justification. As for the affair partner, Send him the message that any further contact will be met with an exposing him as someone not to be welcome in any home as he is a predator.